in our days we can see that from many many directions we are being attacked for being honest for being truthful for being who we are our souls are unique and special and there is no similarity between two souls they are 100% different because our souls are coming from a godly place from an eternal source and over there in that endless sea of souls the variety of colors is endless and the beauty and light of the creator that is shining from within us in such a different and beautiful and unique and special way is so powerful and so strong that a person should dedicate his life to understand what is your own individual purpose and what is your life mission here on earth the tools that you've got from our maker are godly tools he sent a beam of godly light a portion of godliness from above into your body into your physicality and that godly soul is shining from within with a bright and gorgeous light that is just desiring to help and to assist and to do good and to support others and to feed them and to take care of them but the world that is surrounding us is always in defense is always attacking is always fighting and especially with those ones that are honest and truthful and this world that is called Alma de Shikra, the world of lie, world of illusion, is blocking the lights of our souls, trying to put us into different formats to think to ourselves as if we're supposed to change and supposed to be different and supposed to erase our unique and special character and nature of our souls and to become a lawyer a doctor a millionaire a driver a husband a wife a father all kinds of titles will never answer will never cover your true being you are so much more than the titles that you will carry for the rest of your life you are a spiritual being you are a child of God. You are a portion of godliness from above. You are shining in endless amounts of shades and lights. And you should never ignore that beauty that is treasured within you. And the life mission of a person many times is to find out who you are and to go and shine that light out to the world. But sometimes... The mission is not to find out who you are. It's to believe that the one that you know that you are is important and great. I think that this is the main mission of ours because everyone knows his own nature and can understand his qualities. If you're a musician, if you have a good memory, if you're good with numbers, if you... If you like to eat, if you're an amazing friend, if you're a great listener, those are things that you know about yourself. It doesn't have to be that you are painting like Michelangelo or, or, or making music like Mozart. It doesn't mean that 
If you like to learn Torah, that you should be a genius like the Balatanya or Rabbi Nachman of Breslau. No, not at all. Your love to the Torah is your love to the Torah and it's precious. If you like to compose music or to sing and you're not the best singer in the world, but when you sing, you like it, you love it, you enjoy it. So that's your quality. So that is something very unique about your soul that is shining. And you must nurture that thing. You must support that thing. You must allow it to access others. And it will give them the strength and power to grow and to become themselves. And for them to build their own self-esteem and to stop criticizing, the, criticizing themselves based on other people's criticism that is just a supportive hand to the devil to destroy and sabotage and demolish the creation of God, that he created souls, that he sent beautiful souls down to earth for them to do their thing, for them to shine their light. But if we are afraid and scared to succeed and to be the ones that we meant to be, if you're afraid to tell your parents, hey, I want to be a singer, hey, I want to be a dancer, hey, I want to learn Torah, hey, I want to go and do it, but do it. If you're afraid to talk with your friends, with your soulmate, with your children about your true nature, that you are gentle, that you want to live life of happiness, of joy, that certain things satisfies you and certain other things are blocking your 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 joy and kicking you back to dark and awful places if you cannot express that so those are not your friends if you're not able to open up and to share your feelings there are major things that needs to be done in that direction of building friendship and communication Sometimes it's because that they are not ready for a deep relationship and sometimes it's because that you are not really standing in that place with your own inner acceptance of yourself. You might not accept yourself. You might allow yourself to blame yourself and criticize yourself and judge yourself to a level that you're not able to function and to say what is your taste and what is your desire, and what is your will, and what is your passion. But we must. We don't have a choice. This is our mission, and this is our purpose, and this is our goal, to shine the spiritual, godly light that is treasured within us. And we must let it shine. And we must wash the world with the beauty of our inner colors, to go and purify the world from all its filth, from all its darkness, from all those horrible, horrible people that fell into that trap of evil inclination to judge and criticize others, to erase their true identities, as if you know better, as if they are the ones to judge and to criticize and put people into, into order, into lines, as if someone can tell me, who am I? Only Hashem knows exactly who I am. Someone else will come and rebuke me and judge me and criticize me and tell me what my life mission is. Do you know which smells I, I enjoy, which flavors I enjoy? Do you know which music is, is waking my heart? How can you tell me which music to hear? How can you tell me which food to eat? You want to tell me that the Torah said that we need to eat kosher food? No problem. Inside that zone of kosher food, you have a great variety of different kinds of food that I'm allowed to eat. And over there, inside that kosher zone, I am allowed to choose. Inside the world of music, there are so many options. I must have the opportunity and the option to choose which kind of music will revive me will bring me back to my joy, will bring me back to my happiness. Okay, so I need to work, no problem. Millions of options I have. I can be a driver, I can be a teacher, I can be a lawyer, I can be a doctor, I can do whatever I want. I can be a builder, a gardener, I can... 
I can be a, a, a clown in, in hospitals if I want. I can, I can do whatever I want. I can wash tiles. Any job that I will choose will be an honorable way of making my own living. And I should choose and believe in myself so that it's okay to be the one that I am. It's written on Matat, the minister of the face of Hashem, on Chanoch ben Yared, the man of God, that it's written on him that he was walking with God, that in the end of his life on earth, he went up to the sky on flaming chariot that was tied to a flaming horse. And that's how he went up and became the minister of the face of Hashem that received 70 of Hashem's names and became the greatest angel in the sky, appointed on everything that you can imagine. And it's written on him that before he became that man of God, before he became that angel Matat, he was a shoemaker. Osemin Alim, that's what it is written on him. He was a shoemaker. So in the beginning he was a shoemaker, and then he became an angel. So today you feel like being a shoemaker. And the next day you might find yourself an angel. You can become a hidden righteous man. There was a hidden righteous man that was known as the builder. There was a hidden righteous man that was known as the street cleaner. There was a hidden righteous man that was known as the tailor. There was a rich, a righteous man, hidden righteous man that was known as the shoemaker, the Sandlara Kadosh, the holy shoemaker from Tel Aviv. The Orachayim HaKadosh was a tailor. The Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh was a teacher in a period of time of his life and in a different period of time in his life. He was digging out mud and putting it on, the, on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a chariot, on a, on a wagon and his wife was driving it and selling it in the market in the city. People were working in simple jobs cleaning pipes, washing dishes, being teachers, rabbis in schools, being simple people. Your greatness depends in your honesty, in your truthfulness, in your kindness, in how loving and caring you are. In that your greatness depends not in your occupation, in what's the size of your salary, in what other people thinks about you. You need to be honest and truthful and loyal and righteous and nice and kind and pleasant and loving and full of respect. And may the blessing of our souls shine far to heal the whole world around us and to bring the complete redemption in our days. Amen.